favorite. She's she's working it really hard. I know some of you are actually here to see her specifically, and you have to with the rest of us. But anyway, um, please welcome Lindsay. Somebody else said, I 
was taking a nap. I woke up, I looked at the clock, I rolled back over, and I napped some more. <laughs> and I said, I was so tired one time, I fell asleep in my clothes, and I woke up and I felt so dirty. <laughs> so, um, I'm 41. Not a spring chicken, right? I met the gynecologist the other day, and when you're 41 and you're at the gynecologist, you get the talk. And the talk is something like this. Lindsay, I just want to let you know that everything looks good. Everything seems to be in working order. I was looking at your chart, and I was crunching some numbers. And I just wanted to let you know that if you want to have a baby, your window of opportunity is coming to a close. And I had to take a moment because no one's ever talked about this area and crunching numbers before. Okay? And the second thing, I said to the doctors, and oh my God, are you serious? I have a window of opportunity that's still open to have a baby. I mean, in my life, that kind of news is about as welcoming as a hurricane in the Gulf. <laughs> all I can think about, all I can think about is how am I gonna hurt, how am I gonna weatherproof or stormproof that window of opportunity? Like, is there a sandbag kind of diagram thing that we don't have here? Um, I don't know, is there like some sort of fertility equivalent of duct tape and plywood? What do we do to make that window like the little size of a peephole? Um, my husband and I just celebrated two years of marriage. So we just celebrated two years of marriage by going to counseling. And, um, I, um, it was a surprise for him. Um, so we're both overachievers, and we don't like to look silly in front of people. So we normally like to talk about what we're going to talk about before we talk about it at counseling, right? You might be on that. So normally when we talk about what we're going to talk about before we talk about it at counseling, we work some stuff out, right? Okay? Um, but we don't like to waste anybody's time. So we make stuff up. Last week, we just switched issues. So I played the role of a Star Wars loving, beer drinking, sports watching person that's afraid of commitment. And my husband played the role of a nagging bitch that never likes to go anywhere or do anything. marriage contract thing. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was like your cell phone contract with your cell phone company? Right? First sign of an issue, you just go down to the marriage kiosk at the mall, talk to a kid behind the counter. Just wanted to let you know I'm having some issues with my marriage. It's not quite going the way it was advertised. Yeah. Um, we're having some communication issues. My husband's pushing some buttons wrong, yeah, and uh, there's definitely some dead zones. <laughs> if I was eligible for an upgrade. <laughs> and if not, I think I read somewhere that for $279, I could opt out of the forever club. <laughs> so the idea that I'm actually, possibly, getting back out in the dating field is just crazy. I think about all the guys that I used to date in my 20s. I dated this veterinarian one time, and every time we would have sex and I would have an orgasm, he would say, Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go again? He would, he would touch me right here. Right? Like, oh, yes. So strange. It took me five years, and I'm not kidding, five years to stop circling a chair before I sat down. It was strange. So, so I also dated this one guy, very strange, who used to sing to me all the time. All I need is the air that I breathe. I just love you. Like, really? And by the way, you don't bring me flowers. Never. I'm so easy to please. I love flowers. All you have to do is bring me flowers and I'm yours. And I don't need you to get in the car and drive to the flower shop. I don't need you to get in and go talk to the guy behind the counter and uh, and the guy that doesn't even call himself a florist anymore, he's a floral designer. I don't need you to do that. You can actually go to Bonds. You can be standing at the checkout stand, picking up Tic Tacs, picking up a lint roller, double-A batteries, and oh, hey, there's some daisies down here. Maybe my wife Lindsay would like some daisies, you know? I'm easy. But if you had to pick between the daisies and the double-A batteries, you always bring home the double I love the way that the checkout stands 
are organized. They have all those little knick-knack, paddywhack, tchotchke kind of things all together. I think the rest of the grocery store is absolutely disorganized. They need to get everything that belongs together on the same aisle, right? Like soda pop, potato chips on the same aisle, hummus and pita on the same aisle, okay? Tampons, tequila, same aisle, right? So my husband and I are trying to lose weight. I actually joined a gym, okay? I haven't been in a gym since 1992. The last time I was in a gym, I was wearing spandex and a leotard that went up my butt on purpose. We also just got done buying a Tony Little Gazelle off the Home Shopping Network. Are you guys familiar with this? One of those things, right? It is brilliant. They don't tell you about the hidden feature, okay? You get it home, you set it up, and it instantly becomes a coat rack. It's amazing. It's a, yeah, it goes really, really great with the Ab Circle Pro shoe rack and the shake weight hat stand that I have. Absolutely. The last thing I did, and I did that, did this this morning. I got up at Odark Hundred and went to yoga. I hate yoga. I hate yoga because I don't bend all those different ways. And I don't like all those poses. That bark at the moon pose. That downward facing cougar pose. That I don't like the instructor to do. Uh, I don't, in fact, the only pose that I like is upright standing Lindsay facing the back door going, this is a load of crap. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here tonight. My husband's taking me blow shopping. I'm Lindsay Palmer. Thank you.